Well, in this next exercise, we're going to be going back and forth the same way we did before with the E chord, with the 6th and 4th string, the A7 with the 5th and 4th, and the B7 with the 5th and 4th. But this time we're going to be adding one note on top. So this is called a pinch. So I'm pinching the 6th and 1st string together and then I'm continuing with the next three beats on my pattern with the, with the thumb. So it should sound like this. Pinch, and then continue with the thumb. Now you can see I'm pinching with my first finger. Now you could also pinch with your second finger if you'd like like that. And if you just want to use your first finger, well, that's fine too. Now with the A7, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go back and forth between the fifth and fourth string, but we're going to be adding our second string into the mix. And it's going to sound like this. Just on that first beat. Pinch. Two. used to pinching just like that and with the B7 with the B7 we're gonna try and go back to the first string again so we have this so you want to get used to adding in that extra string there Now in the next exercise here, we're going to hit that extra string twice. We're going to hit it on the first beat, the pinch, and now on the third beat, the pinch. And we're only pinching, um, in the E chord, we're pinching the sixth and first string together. So it's going to sound like this. Now on the A7 chord, well, we're going to pinch the fifth, and like we did before, the second string, but we're going to do that also on the first and third beat. Like that. And just keep repeating that over and over again. And with the B7, back to the first string pinch, fifth and fourth string in the bass. Now the next step is going to be putting all of these together. So I'm going to go from the E and another measure. Now the A7. And you got to go back to that fifth and second string, B7, fifth and first string, and you could just keep repeating this as much as you'd like, switching back and forth between the E, A, and the B7 chord. All right, so we'll see what's going to happen in our next video.